um, you know, that's how I, I convinced my family that it was okay that I was engaged. Cause I'm like, no, you, you may see like 30 second clips here and there, but like we were spending hours and hours talking to each other. Who turned it? I think I might know the answer to this one, but who turned it on the most for the cameras during your season? Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I mean, everyone yeah. I, I felt, yeah. Like I, I would say everyone in some way mm -hmm. was amped up at least 25 to like 200% of their actual self. Okay. I thought you, I thought hands down shake, but. <laughs> um, honestly, he was, he was probably just himself on the, more on the 200% line. <laughs> totally. Was there ever a moment that you wish cameras didn't capture like an embarrassing moment or something like that? Um, I almost wish there were ones that they did capture more, but, uh, there were, there were some, um, that definitely made the cutting room floor. Probably thankfully, um, the, the fun one for me was, um, actually like, I don't even know if this made it in the show. I just remembered so vividly. I was talking, having a very serious conversation with deep D mm -hmm. about her and shakes relationship on the beach. And then all of a sudden, like out of my peripheral vision, I see Danielle on Shake's shoulders and she like starts to fall backwards. And thank God there were a bunch of people there to stop that catastrophe. But um, I pretty sure she <laughs> broke her neck or something. Oh God, but it was so scary. Yeah. That's crazy. Was, um, yeah. How much time did you really get in the pods with each person? And do you wish you had more? That's that's a question I get a lot. And it's cool because at the beginning, you're basically speed dating all the men, 15 men, 15 women, and you're speed dating. I think it was seven minutes, if I remember correctly. But then, you know, by the end, you're you're eliminating people as you go on. And then by the end, I mean, I was spending my last three that I spent the most time with were Shayna, Natalie and Danielle. Um, and then, you know, we were Shayna. And Natalie and myself, we were all like, we're all friend zoned here, so we can just talk, take a nap, whatever. But mm -hmm. at the end, you're you're spending probably, if I remember, five or six hours talking to people in the in the pods a day. And it's split up, so it'll be like 90 minutes here, 90 minutes there. But um, you know, that's how I, I convinced my family that it was okay that I was engaged. Cause I'm like, no, you, you may see like 30 second clips here and there, but like we were spending hours and hours talking to each other. Yeah. Was you what was your family's like initial reaction about this? Were they like, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing this? <laughs> so I, I didn't tell my mom and dad because of fear of what they would say. Mm -hmm. And to be, I told my sisters a few weeks before and um they were like okay like this could work like if nothing else is working you know try this um and to be honest i had this thought in my head that i'd probably leave as soon as i met all 15 people because i wasn't sure um you know if that was going to be the right thing for me so it was it was all kind of crazy i was coming back i had my sisters like prep my mom and dad as much as possible so that it was easy for me to hop on and and tell them <laughs> Definitely. Um, what were Vanessa and Nick like behind the scenes? I don't know if you got to spend a lot of time with them when cameras weren't rolling. Nick and Vanessa are the most human people in the world. Like I, I will never forget how much it meant to me. And my, my sister is the biggest Nick Lachey fan from 98 degrees. And when we were with him and Vanessa at one point, I told him that and he wanted to send her a video. So he took my phone and filmed a video saying hi to her. Um, and she was like shaking with excitement when she got it. So they're just really genuine and, and real people. And, you know, one, one other funny Nick Lachey story, um, you know, I, I had leaned up against a brick wall at some point and he just literally came over and he's like, oh, you got some dust on your jacket. And he started brushing off the dust on my jacket. So just very down to earth, real people, um, you know, pick up a conversation with them like it's like it's just a friend.